The West Virginia gubernatorial debate took place last night between incumbent Jim Justice and Democratic challenger Ben Salango. One WVU political science expert says that Salango had the most to gain to, uh, from this debate because he hasn't been able to run a traditional campaign due to the pandemic. This means that Salango doesn't have as much name recognition, unlike the governor, who is at the forefront of the pandemic, speaking directly to the public on a regular basis. He says that Salango, a Kanawha County Commissioner, has had very little exposure. He's well known, obviously, in the Charleston area, but he has to get his name out there and in, 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 uh, across the state. And given the pandemic, that takes away his ability to engage in that kind of uh, small retail politics where you get to meet people and get to convince them and get to change their minds. And so I think that for him, the debate was a perfect opportunity to get out in front. And Kilwine says that justice has benefited from his time handling the pandemic which has shifted focus away from his tax issues and a rebellion in the West Virginia Republican Party.